All right, here we go. Track walk series. This time we're gonna do Bud's Creek. And we're gonna get my big tape measure here. And we're gonna measure out the jumps. You're gonna see just how far you're jumping. Or if you're not jumping, just, far, just how far you should be jumping. All right, let's go. But we're gonna measure out the finish line at Bud's Creek. Not sure what they call this jump. But uh, I call it the pro finish line. So we're gonna see what it is. I've been working on this jump for maybe two years. Crazy. You take off down in this valley, come up the hill, get airborne right there, and you see if you can land all the way down there. So you're taking off right there, you get airborne right there, and we're gonna see how far we can get. Uh, I think I'm landing about right here. This seems to be a sweet spot where a lot of people come up short at. That is 64 feet. I think that's about as good as I'm doing it. But you're supposed to land well down here. The downside of the jump. So I'm gonna say, woo, 92 feet. If you're doing it right, you make about 92 feet. I did not know it was that long. Yeah, that's why, that's why I'm not getting it. Some people landed way down there too. Let's see how far, 100, good God almighty. We got the real good people landing at this yellow pad here. This yellow pad is 119 feet. That's what a yellow pad is. Very few people land in there. So if, you, if you're really doing the job, you're getting about 97, 98 feet. That's Bud's Creek finish, finish line. Pro track. All right, let's move on. All right. You can accelerate off of here. This is a triple down, downhill triple. The landing is way down there. I guess we can measure this out because I'm definitely doubling this, but not many people are tripling down the hill. Some are, some are that good. Let's see if we can measure it backwards. All right, here we go. Hopefully that'll hold. Okay, downhill triple, here we go. Take off there. A lot of people had land in here a little short. If you truly double it, you land about right here. 40 feet. 40 feet down. That's, a, that's the double. If you triple it, If you triple it, you end up going about 75 feet. 75 feet is the downhill triple, Bud's Creek.
All right, a lot of times I end up landing right about here, not clearing it, but right on the edge of it, right 60 feet. 60, mm, 60 feet is a common place for people to land this jump, which is coming up short. Or right here, right where it starts going downhill, you're about 66 feet. But if you truly land it where you're supposed to land it, which is about right here in the middle of the uh, landing, 86 feet. 86 feet. Scrub this. Coming up to uh, Camelback. This is a bad jump for a lot of people. A lot of people have been hurt on this jump. I've been hurt on this jump twice. Broke my leg on this jump. Coming up short and bouncing off the top of it. And then I sprained my shoulder on this jump. Let's see. All right, Camelback. This used to be a true step up. They tamed it down over the years. Still pretty deadly. It's not a it's not as bad of a step up. It's still a step up though. Let's see how long it is. A lot of people bounce right off the top of this thing, including me. They land about right here. Get the front wheel about right here, maybe. Bouncing right off the top of this thing is 43 feet. Right there. Right at the, right at the flag stand here. A little pass. Most people bounce about right here. About 43 feet. But that ain't clearing it. Gotta get you hurt. Cause you'll land here sideways there's normally a kicker or something on the face you land here sideways and then you bounce and then you'll land down here again bike totally sideways and then you get thrown at the bottom of that hill and you either get your collarbone or broken leg or something so again coming up short what i say 43 feet if you truly make it land where you're supposed to land on the downside, about right here would be the perfect spot to land. If you land where you're supposed to land, you're jumping 72 feet. 72 feet. Camelback. Then we come up here. Uphill triple. You can triple it. Or you can do like most. And double. That includes me. Okay, double it. Landing right in this pocket here. 37 feet. 37 feet, double it. If you're a real man and you triple it, hooey. <laughs> Man, look at this landing. If you triple, you land right down here in this pocket. Man, it's a long way. If you truly triple this thing, 91 feet, 92 feet. Uphill triple, 92 feet. 92, right there. It's a long way. Oh. Coming down this hill, coming into the horseshoe. Coming out of the horseshoe over here. I got a little single now. Oh, well, I guess you can call it a double. Oh shit. Almost went down. Okay. Uphill. 
double uphill coming out of the horseshoe step up if you can make it up the hill I'm making it about right here <laughs> nowhere close I'm making it about 20 9 30 feet if you make it all the way up you land all the way up here on the top side and it's 43 feet don't sound like much but it's a step up with very little speed time, most time you only be in second gear right here okay the famous big gulp i'm gonna skip over here big gulp sometimes has a uh, double in it but it's really uphill triple I'll measure it out all right let's take off on big gulp big gulp has a double in it today this double is bigger than normal making the double I wasn't making it today truly making this double you're jumping about 60, 6, 61 feet. That's truly making a double. Then if you jump all a big gulp and you get it all, you land way up here. Man, you land way down in this dip. That is a long way. If you land way down on this downhill dip, a big gulp man 116 feet I did not know big gulp was this long 116 feet Getting ready to measure a uh, deer stand I call this deer stand all right get airborne there this is shorter than I thought it was looks a little longer when you're on the bike but it's pretty short jumping deer stand well right here on the downhill deer stand 52 feet but you can land anywhere down that hill a lot of guys are landing well down that hill but all you need is 52 feet to get it all right there's Henry Hill because uh, it's called Henry Hill because a guy named uh, Pro, old Pro, Doug Henry, took off at the top of that hill, whiskey throttled, and landed all the way to the bottom. Whew, my tape measure is not long enough to measure that. If I wanted to guess, I'm going to say that's about 200 feet downhill he landed. Long way. Little stuff you don't never notice at Butts Creek. An anchor and a cannon. All this time, I never even seen this. Pit side. Those are the pro pits down there. Take off on pit side. They got a double in it, or you can truly triple it. And if you double it, if you double it, you've jumped only 34 feet. 34 feet is the double. Bouncing right off the top of it, like what I did. My back wheel landed about right here. 55 feet, 55, 54 feet. My back wheel skim right off the top. A lot of people do that. But if you really make it. Which is about right here. If you truly make it. You've just jumped. Eh, 87 feet. 87 feet pit side some people call it the helicopter 
because many of people have came up short and had to get a helicopter ride out of here. I was here one year, helicopter came three times in one day. Dangerous jump. So I'm gonna be measuring out all of the tracks that I ride and hopefully I'll be doing all the jumps one day that I've measured. And then I'll give you mile per hour and what gear I hit the jumps in. I rode both of my bikes today, my 2012 and my 2019. I like the 2019 a lot better. It's a Suzuki. Both are Suzuki RMZ 250s. But the 19 has a lot better chassis. Just handles a lot better. I gotta work on that uh, 12 of mine. But you've seen my bikes. But I still will show them to you again. All loaded up on the truck. Huh, that's the 2019. And that over there with the red numbers is the 2012. All right. Again, Bud's Creek, all measured out. Hopefully there's not too much wind in this uh, video. So I don't have my wind microphone yet. But I'm working on that. Feel free to donate and always subscribe to my videos. Link in this description for donations for updated camera equipment. Money for me to enter races.